Hi, in this video, you're going to learn about the safety of this product, the application, does it work, proof, and how to keep those little critters from coming back. Let's get started. Now, the first product we're gonna start with is Ortho. It's really important that you wear gloves, buy dollar disposable gloves. Make sure that you wear pants, shoes. You don't want to get any of this stuff in your skin because it will get absorbed. Also, make sure that the kids and the pets are away whenever you put this stuff. Make sure you read all warning labels. And I personally do not put this product where kids and pets play. My goal is to give you the information as fast as possible. To make it easier for you, I went ahead and added timestamps below so you can fast forward to the section that you need to. Pay attention when you buy this product because it comes sprayer or automatic pump. This is good if you're spraying inside the house, but really if you can buy this, it's well worth it. You get tired of, of squeezing that trigger. Remember, wear eye protection, long sleeves, gloves, your pants, and I recommend a shoe with a leather. And unit, just go ahead and pull this out. Nozzle that plugs into top of the bottle. For the automatic pump, unlock, pull out, stretch, and flip open. The nozzle in there and push it in. Before we spray this in the house, one of the things you want to note is you do not spray in drains such as these. It'll kill the fish. Use all the product before you throw it in the trash or recycle it. I'm going to show you how to apply the product indoors and outdoors. But first, you need to seal up all of the holes where the bugs are getting in. Let's do it. I recommend using a silicone sealant. I'm using GE Advanced Silicone. It's 100% waterproof. It dries in 30 minutes. It won't crack or shrink and that's what you need. I would stay away from expanding foam. It might stretch the wood outside the house or damage some cables. Look for the holes or the gaps where the bugs get in. For something like this, if you had expanding foam, it would be a mess. It would just stretch out and you have to clean it all up. This is just nice and easy. There you go. Oh, wow, we found the big one. And we're crawling in here through the top and uh, through the bottom right here. Let's seal it. Make sure you seal all the little holes that go through. When you are sealing up those holes, you build up a nice little shell so it'll resist the weather. Now let's show you how to apply the product outside and then we'll come back inside. I haven't seen another video cover that tip of making sure you cover all the holes in the house. Now I appreciate a thumbs up if this is helping you out and I'm going to give you another bonus tip that I haven't seen in the video for that thumbs up. All right, bonus tip. Now if you look at your nozzle, you'll notice that it has two settings. One is really wide, which is the one on the left, that's for outdoors, and the other one is really small, that's for indoors. When you're spraying outdoors, you want your band to be 12 inches wide. That's six inches from the top and six inches from the bottom. When you're spraying indoors, you want to have a four inch wide band. That's two inches from the bottom of the floor and two inches on the floor. When spraying inside the home, do not make it bigger than two inches from the bottom of the wall because that's where people walk and pets as well. And you don't want people to be standing on that pesticide. Let's go ahead and uh, put this sucker out there. What well, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and give it a good shake. Do not tilt that bottle. It will leak. It takes a little while to go and you can see the nozzle. It's not spraying exactly how I want it. So you can just adjust it here. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Okay, one thing you don't want to do is you see this dripping here. You don't want it to drip. Now the manufacturer doesn't want you to drip the product so it won't run off into areas you don't want it to, but you will get a little bit of dripping. Oh, there's an ant. You'll be gone in a few hours. Yeah, it's pretty hot out here with long sleeves, but so if you have the angles, I would put the nozzle right here. And you can see a bug there, just got squirt it. And then kind of like let it run a little bit along the edge. That way you can run to the let it run along the edge so it can run down the decking. I'm spraying the product right on the wood and I'm having it run along this the crack so it can get to the bottom of the house. This year I ended up having ants nest in my patio door so I just have to spray it. Make sure you get the cracks like I am right here. Now you will have to uh, do a reapplication. It says it lasts for a year. It doesn't really work that way. Uh, before I remember the ortho had a three month uh, la lasting effect. So my experience is that when I used it in the past, it lasts about like two to three months. 
if it rains it does break down pretty quickly so you may have to if you have a lot of rain after an application you may have to put another application in there All right, guys, it's time to move indoors and I'm spraying at night. That way we can see the ant activity and the little ones and the pets are out of the way. Let's find them. It's 3 a.m. in the morning and I've sprayed ortho two days ago, the night before I sprayed it at two o'clock a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I had lots of ants crawling on the uh, ground. And yesterday I only found four ants and today I found one, which we saw crawling. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the ortho inside the house. So I, I did not put it on yesterday, but from caulking, the, uh, from covering up the holes outside uh, and then just spraying it outside it made a huge difference so now I'm gonna go ahead and spray it inside to make sure I catch any of those little guys they can stay out where they belong Final verdict and a full product review. Does the product work? Yes, it does. This is the fifth day and the ant problem has been controlled. The only thing I'm getting uh, is just residual ants crawling out and dying, pretty much. You'll see maybe two to three ants just crawl out and, and die <laughs> in your floor. Uh, you don't see any ant activity at night. Here's a tip in terms of the uh, utilizing the product. You want to treat outside of the house with a product that has granules so the ants will take those granules to the nest and uh, destroy the queen. I recommend Taro Ant Killer and this is what you spray around the house on the outside perimeter of the house. Make sure that you do not spray that just like the ortho do not spray it where water drains. Now if you have gutters uh, if you notice in the uh, video I sprayed around the gutter but don't spray near the end of the gutter where the water comes out because it'll wash out and it may drain it may wash the chemical in to the drains. I'm gonna give you this is a really good tip make sure that you when you do your uh, cabinets make sure that you do it on the outside but underneath the sink sometimes ants get in through the area where the air uh, intake is from the dishwasher they'll crawl in there and then they'll come out through your sink or maybe crawl through the piping in the house and show up in bathroom make sure you spray right in there another place where you can spray is right in the cracks between your dishwasher to make sure you get those bugs out Thanks a lot guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so others can uh, find it. See you guys.